Three, two, one, and action. We're in Milan. Oh, I was going to say Italy. <laughs> So yeah, we're in Italy. We got here yesterday, um, but I didn't start my vlog because we were just like mooching about getting our bearings. So we're in it. Um, of course, we're in Italy. Mm. We're in Milan at the moment, and then we're going to. So we're in Milan for four days, and then we're going to Rome for five days after. But today we're going to um, buy. Duomo. Yeah, Duomo and. Which is a cathedral in yeah. Milan, the biggest in the, in the world, I think. Or Europe. I don't know. You know more and then we're just exploring around by there. So I thought I'd take you along with me. So my shorts are sheen. Actually, my whole outfit is sheen. Sheen, sheen, sheen. If you want me, oh, I'll try to link all my outfits down below if I can. And then shoes are Adidas. We have reached the Duomo. The Duomo. Look at it. Cathedral. In Milano. So we come out of the train station, turned around, this was here, and we were walking up to it and Joe was like, wow, look how amazing it is. And there was this little dog and I was like, oh, look at the dog. <laughs> just no, no care about the <laughs> architecture. Really. No, but it's just like you get here, you're like, ah. I look at that as well. Like, they've taken so much time. To, See, that is on, more my it, kind of thing. The camera, right? That is more my kind of thing, because that's shopping. That's mental, like the attention to detail. That I can get on board with. I'm not gonna lie, I'm melting already and I've only been Are in for like I'm alright to be fair. Yeah, good for you. <laughs> <laughs> Right, we've just been exploring all morning. Lego shop. Yeah, that ain't gonna fit in our case. <laughs> um, yeah, we're just going to a castle now, which is I don't like see it. no. Yeah, it's it's like about to hour. After that, I'm not really sure what we're doing. But I think we need to have a look at what there is to go see because we've done. So so far, we've gone to. Oh, like that bikini. The cathedral. Yeah. Milan Cathedral. And Starbucks Reserve. Which was underwhelming. Yeah, I was literally <laughs> thinking. It was a bit shite. We, um, we walked in thinking it was gonna be like an actual museum and it turns out it's basically just a fancy Starbucks. Yeah. No, so we've literally just come to sit down before we go in the castle because when I tell you the heat is no joke, it's no fucking joke. Yeah, what well, even is the temperature? All those TikToks of people saying the heat's fucking mental air. Mm. <laughs> they ain't wrong. It's like 34. Yeah, 30. more than that. It's like Jerkers. 37, yeah. Is it? Yeah, definitely. Yeah, it's so hot. That's as, soon why, as, like, as soon as yesterday was 40, and mm. today feels hotter. And also, I want to say so this bag I got from um, Go Outdoors, yeah. and I think it was £12. And then me and Joe got this little water thing. I think you might have seen people using them at festivals, but it's literally just a big bag that goes in your bag. And then the little like pipe straps onto it, and then you get a little straw. So you can literally just drink your water from there. So, and it, I think it fits up to two litres or one and a yeah, half litres. Yeah. So you're literally just drinking that all day, and it's a good way to get water in instead of just carrying bottles around your stuff. We're literally about to head into the castle. I don't even know what this castle is. I didn't see it on any videos or anything, but. Hey, you got to think, like, all of these things as well, people would have stood with like rocks and bows and arrows. <laughs> Your head is just in the camera. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like, yeah, you would have had all your archers all pointing out of there, just firing down onto the people laying siege. So yeah, we're going to go inside here. Mental. But, if you ever come to Milan, let me know because Joe can come with you and be your Voice, voice guide, guide. <laughs> or you could just FaceTime him and have headphones in, yeah. and then he could tell you. Oh my god, my eyes! I know what it is, but this sun is like making my eyes sting. It's like I got sweating them. Melting them. <laughs> Literally, they're just disintegrating as we speak. I got these glasses that just went with my outfit. That's why I'm wearing them, but they don't. They don't really have any sun protection. I won't lie. Right, we're finished in the castle now. It was a bit shit because, um, yeah, pretty much everything was closed. It's funny, like, we found the English part, was reading it, and in the corner it says closed on Mondays, and today is a Monday. 
I need to kind of explain the holiday a little bit more because earlier we were we were literally just heading out, so I had to rush a little bit. But yeah. Oh, oh, he got back in. Yay! He's swimming. Yeah, he's... Um, I think we're gonna walk down to this little monument thingy. That's I don't know what it's called, but right now we're just admiring this little pond because there's turtles and fish in there, and I love anything nature. Um, so this is what it looks like. So cute. This is a really nice park actually, it right is. next oh, to the okay. castle. Um, so yeah, sorry if you can only hear the crickets in the background. It's quite annoying. Look, there he is, having a slow swim. I'm really enjoying my outfit today, I can't lie. I feel like in the photos, it looks really good. So do a handstand in front of this one? Yeah. Shall I actually? Go on. I'll video you. Yeah. If you can't do a handstand, oh, it's going to be hot on the floor. That's right, you just gotta get it quick. All day we've been hunting for shade. <laughs> it's been so hot. I feel like I'm really like hunchback. Yeah, I know. First uh, try talking to yeah, I know. I wish you could see that in the background. You can't really see it. Basically, we've just sat down to have a drink in a bar called Duomo. Everything's good. <laughs> yeah, we've come to sit and have a drink. We were going to get a tram home, but we're we so missed three of them. But I've ordered an apple spritz, which is my first one in Italy. I think I've had a sip of an apple spritz before, but loads of people. Well, not loads of people. I've heard a couple. Of Never bloody tram. Yeah, a, lo a lot of people said that. They didn't like Aperol spritzes at home, but when they came to Italy, they liked it because obviously they got a proper one. Speak the devil, here it comes. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you so much. Yay, my first Aperol spritz in Italy. That's a great boy. It looks like you can give a taste. I just said to Joe, it looks like. Do you know when they're like, oh, do you want to try them? I look really muscly when I do that. <laughs> <laughs> do it from the strongest one, man. <laughs> no, I just said to Joe, do you know when you ask if you can try the wine first and they give you a little bit? That's what his glass of wine looks like. But yeah, taste test. Wait, let me do it. Oh. We do apologise, but we are on like the M25 <laughs> and fucking tram lines here. <laughs> it's it's so, such a bad place to video. That's really nice, that wine. This kind of tastes like a sangria. How does it? A little bit, but like a orange one. Better. Look, look. Not for me, that. That's no. horrible. No. It's like cough medicine a little bit, isn't it? Yeah, it's, it really just stays in your throat, mate. You know? It just lingers at the back of your mouth. Is Aperol the alcohol? Yeah. And the lemonade? Yeah. But yeah, this is the restaurant we've come to. Not the restaurant, the bar. What you meant? No, thank you, man. Yeah, so we've come back to the hotel now. We literally just got a tram back. I was going to redo my makeup, but it doesn't look the best, but I can't bother to take it off and do it again because we're going to go out, like, not, we're not going to be in there for that long. So I might just put more bronzer on my head because that's the only thing that's come off, really. It always comes off of my head. It's so annoying because obviously I sweat so much on my head. So yeah, I think I might just, like, touch it up a little bit because I think we're going to go to that place where, let me show you it on my phone. So it's this. So yeah, it's just a place with loads of murals, but I feel like that's a good photo place. So yeah, that's what we're going to do tonight, and then we're going to get some food around there. So we should have a look at what food is around there, or we could just walk around and see what restaurants there are. 
but I just want to take my hair out right now because I've got a headache from it being tight and I'm just over um what's it called is it overstimulated yeah no it's not overstimulated it's um oh what's the word where it's like um she didn't know what word you were trying to say the then. word where it's like um uh like things touch you and like irritating no nah, what is that word it's like over you get really irritated by it like say like a piece of hair is on you or like like your top is sticking to you what is that word sensory overload that's go. what it is i'm getting proper sensory overload like my top is sticking to me my shorts are digging into my waist my hair is tight my bag is just sticking to my arm like yeah so i've had i had that this morning when we first went out bearing in mind what my hair just it's just not waving right now but yeah basically we was meant to wake up at nine o'clock this morning and we ended up waking up at half ten but we did get our flight at four o'clock in the morning yesterday so we had a long day we didn't go to sleep till about 11 i think so joe woke up early and went and got me a starbucks when i woke up yeah so we didn't have breakfast we just got the train straight to where duomo is and stuff so yeah all i've ate today is half a margarita pizza and i've had a beer and an apple spritz and i've been sipping on water so I've got a bit of a headache, I need to drink more water, take a tablet and freshen up and hopefully I'll feel better. Special delivery. Special you got me a fruit bowl? Yeah. Fruit, fruit bowl. Yeah, we're going out for tea later, but we are absolutely starving. And the place that we're going to take photos, obviously, I'm going to want to take photos first because the sun will still be out. So, yeah. We've got chippies, cheeseburger. Let's do a little Milan QA. Let's um, give our opinions and little Q and A thingy. Yeah. Um, I wouldn't ever come back. Just no. because. This is not much to do. Yeah, it's not much. There probably is a lot more. There probably is. Actually. But it's just. I don't know. Everything looks like quite the same as mm. everything else. Um. It sounds bad, but like, um, like the Duomo. Like, don't get me wrong. It's beautiful. Love that I've seen it. Love that I'm able to say I've seen it and stuff. But it's just like you do get there and you're like, oh wow, like yeah. But you don't appreciate architecture. No, I do. I do. But it's like I get there, look at it, get some pictures, and then it's just like, oh, all right, what now? Like you know what I mean? I feel like it's obviously like you said, like when you wanted to get the audio tour, mm. like you learn more and it's a bit more interactive. But the queue was massive and it was just like, in that heat, I just, I couldn't. We've seen, we've seen quite a few things. I would say two days is enough in Milan. Mm, definitely, um, definitely. Two days is enough, I think. So I'm glad we're only, do I know we're here for four days, but obviously we're doing day trips to different places. What's your favorite thing about it? Probably city architecture mm. of the buildings. Like all the old ones and stuff like that, it is. Mm -hmm. it, it is, you know, a stunning place. You know, it has, has definitely got its qualities. I'll leave the name of our hotel on the screen as well because I would say it's actually a really good location. Mm. Like, it's far right, it's not near the Duomo. You have to get, like, the train and stuff. And that's where, where the Duomo is, is, like, where a lot of stuff is. So you do have to get a train, but our train was, like, two euro. Yeah, it's at like two euro and we're like right outside of it. Mm -hmm. And it's just Our so train station is actually across the road. Like we got tram stops, train stops everywhere around us, so you know, it's not it's not hard to go to places mm -hmm. from here. Yeah. So I would say a hotel is good. My favourite thing about it is I really like the shops. <laughs> obviously because we're shopping. But we went shopping yesterday because obviously we got her yesterday and we thought we should have a moose around. 
So, yeah, I love, I love the shop in here. Um, obviously, I love the look of everywhere, like where we went. It's really that aesthetic. It's cute. I would like to have done some shopping around where Duomo is. Yeah, but we just can't afford that. <laughs> no, no, because like, it... Oh, by well, the Zara and stuff. Yeah, there's yeah, like yeah. Zara and Bershka mm -hmm. and stuff like that. Like, it's more like where that High is, street. is more so like... No, I'd say like, like London sort of thing. Oh, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. There's loads of shops everywhere, so mm -hmm. you've got to walk to it, like... Mm -hmm. Yeah. Now, um, obviously, right next to it is where all the, like, designer brands and stuff like that is. You know, like your Gucci and stuff like that. But mm -hmm. as you go, like, further right, it does get to more normal shops sort of thing. Also, one really good thing is... I feel really comfortable filming here. Um... Which I guess is because it's a touristy place, so I feel like everyone's filming stuff like that. So that makes me less uncomfortable. But I feel like a lot of people don't stare or anything like that, which is good because obviously blogging in public is scary. You just stare at your fat ass. <laughs> <laughs> and that brings me on to the my worst, the worst, the worst thing about it. I would say. Yeah. Is that like um. There's a lot of like men that stare and it makes me feel really uncomfortable. And that's not like a it's not like a thing of me saying oh I'm big headed. No, that's not me being big headed saying that I'm f like, you know, I'm ten ten so that's why everyone's staring at me. But like when you walk down the road, like even Joe said he noticed it, like so many men are looking at you and it just makes you feel uncomfortable. Um But I would say that's only run by us actually. Mm. I wouldn't say it that was run by the No, because we're drama. Yeah, where we were today, like it was really normal actually. Mm -hmm. It's certain to go to um, Lake Como tomorrow because I'm hoping that it'd be a little cooler as well. Yeah. Because like where we're right in the centre, it is, you know, it's boiling all. My friend Taylor went in September, I think it was, and then my friend, or she went in August or September. Hi Taylor, if you're watching, my little travel agent. Huh. Um, and my friend Rosie went in October and they both said like the weather well, I can't think if Taylor said at all but I can't remember saying it was boiling so maybe if you're gonna come come a bit later because the heat does get to you and it makes you just want to have a sit down and stuff which obviously if you're not here for a long time you don't want to be sitting down a lot guys we've had a bit of a plan change so I can bring you <sighs> when I do that yeah Basically, I wasn't going to change my makeup to go on camera. Wait, let me get. Yeah, see, like all my spots are showing through. My lipstick is all crusty. Like, my skin just isn't doing the best at the minute anyway, so I feel like all the makeup's just attached to it. I popped that spot. Yeah, my makeup just looks absolutely terrible. So, I was going to redo it for tonight. No, I wasn't going to redo it. It's a bit late now for me to redo it and then get the train there and get ready and still get photos with the sun out and it would have just been a big rush. So basically what we've decided to do is just have a night in but we're going to run down to Sephora because there's one like not that far from us down there. I'm going to run to Sephora. I need some makeup wipes because I've got a cleanser. I haven't got a flannel to like wipe the makeup off with my cleanser and the sink small. So I just feel like if I remove the makeup mostly before, I need to go and go with my cleanser. But I did actually want to mention... Oh, I got this SPF for this holiday because I have got one from the Glow Hub, but I don't know. I just don't really like it. It smells too sunscreeny. It's quite thick. So I used this one today and oh my god, it make, made my skin feel so hydrated, made it look very hydrated. My makeup went so well on top because I just feel like it really hydrated. So obviously my foundation sat really well on top. Um, so yeah, I used this, so I really recommend it. It's really good. Oh, and also about this, I bought it from Tesco and it was £10 on club card price and normally it's like 20 or 20 something. I was going to say this when I was in the room when I was vlogging, but... Um, we had to leave but yeah basically the reason i haven't uploaded a vlog in a long time is because we went to portugal and i was vlogging it but i only got to like um doing the room tour and then i i filmed like a couple of clips of us doing stuff but it was only on like the second day and i was filming me and my friend and we were playing in the pool my camera was on a tripod and the tripod fell over and my lens was like bent so the lens 
wouldn't go in um like just my camera yeah it just wouldn't video enough of my camera when i turn it on it just made like a really loud clicking sound um so yeah i didn't have my camera for like a month and a half i would say i only got it back like pretty much just before holiday um but it cost me 320 pounds to get it repaired and the camera was nearly 600 pound as it is so this camera is worth like 900 pound right now <laughs> um but the canon g7x has has been out of stock literally everywhere so i chose to get a repair because i know i probably want to be able to get a new one and also it's still cheaper than um buying a new one i'm gonna get nourishing and repair nourishing and repair because i reckon my feet could do with a bit of, bit of nourishment <laughs> <laughs> Your feet you could do with getting shaved off. <laughs> spa night, spa night, spa night. There's only one. Oh my god, my ass in the background. Oh my god. No, we can't have it like that. Let me just put. Um, I look like a boy. <laughs> anyway. Anyway. Spa night. Spa night. Spa night. <laughs> Where's that gone now? My headband. My headband. Fuck it now, what's the point of filming it? Spotlight. Spotlight. <laughs> right. I'm going to go to the spot on two nights. Yeah, I know, I told him to shut your mouth. <laughs> right, so I think I showed you in Sephora. So I did feel. Wow, I look crazy. See, so this is why I'm just so fit because just look at me. Fit. The fit's fitting. You should take a 0 0.5 with me and I can just... <laughs> and then <laughs> Right, anyway. Yeah, so we went to Sephora. I did film in there, but I don't know if I can add the clips in because there was music in the shop, which I didn't realise. Um, but I bought this face mask. Joey, what did you buy? That face mask. And then... I got a lavender foot mask. And he got a coconut one. But... I have got a blister on my big toe. Quenching and relaxing. But yeah. I'm gonna get out. <laughs> oh no. I'm gonna try not. Right, it's just straight over my eyebrows. This is so wet. Oh no. Do we clip your hair back? Actually, oh yeah, you actually could, couldn't you? Got clipped. This is really short. <coughs> 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 Alright, where the fuck is I need like one of these things. <laughs> and you saw my hair back with one of those. It's funny. It's funny. <laughs> <laughs> Why is it so far in my eyes? You don't think you've escaped. <laughs> I've done a century though. Sight word. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sleeping with Sasha Bob tonight. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, bye. We're gonna relax now. <laughs> Come here. <laughs> Bellagio, as you would have seen from the little montage. Yeah, I feel like there's like 50 different montages in this vlog. <laughs> um, but we're currently just walking up some steps. Well, you can. But yeah, as I was saying, we're walking up these steps. I feel like these are the famous steps that you see on TikTok and stuff. I think we're gonna go get some lunch first. It's actually pretty late. We are pissed about a bit this morning. So, yeah, I think we're gonna go get some lunch because I haven't had any breakfast. And then we'll probably start exploring after that because a girl's gotta eat. We find some little ducks in this little canal. 
Is it a canal? It's okay, it. the boat like, port thingy for that hotel. But I said it's like their own little private swimming pool. Little pool party. I'd actually love to just dive in that right I now. I know. It actually looks kind of clear. But I probably still wouldn't get in there, but... Yeah. There might be sharks. Well, you oh, never know. Fish. Where? Oh yeah, I can see them, yeah. I feel like we've wasted this day, to be honest, because we haven't really seen much. I mean, I'm sure there is loads to see, but... I just don't really feel like there's really that much here. No, I don't either. But I see so many TikTok videos of people seeing loads, so I feel like we've just not searched it out properly. Yeah, might not have just done our research properly. No, definitely not. We've just grabbed... Is this ice cream or dry oil? Good. I think it's ice cream. It's really What's nice. the difference actually? Oh. Well anyway, we've grabbed our ice cream. We want to get the ferry back but there isn't one for quite a while. It's like an hour. <laughs> yeah, literally, and that, all I want to do is just have a cold shower right now. All I want to do is get on the train actually because it's so aircon. But I got mint chocolate chip. <laughs> Joe don't like mint chocolate chip. I love it. I like mint chocolate chip or I like vanilla. That's the only ice cream flavours I really like. I'll never ever ever get chocolate or strawberry. What about the two best flavours? Um, um I'm about to take my sleeves off of my arms because they're just irritating me. All I want to do is rip my skin off and jump in the water. Imagine a swimming pool I know. Oh. I'd love that. I do love exploring, but it's just like, I wish it was just like, just like a 25. You know? Yeah, yeah 25. like 10 degrees colder mm -hmm. than what it is now. And it'd be just so much better. This heat in like, like a holiday where you go in a swimming pool or something yeah. would be beautiful because you can jump in and out of the pool where yeah. you want. Yeah. Here you're walking around dripping in sweat in crowds waiting for stuff in queues. But compared to Turkey, mm. Turkey before you look just like this, it, it's just unpleasant heat. I feel like I'm being really moany but we had a really good day yesterday to be fair. Yeah. But it's just today, it's just a very long day. But to get to get here, it was a return. I think it was seven euros each. It was fourteen like together yeah. or something. It was like nine euros each or seven euros each for a return. Yeah, it's pretty easy, I'd say, to get around. It's just like waiting quite a bit. This top, by the way, is from. Oh my god! You have chocolate on your. Oh no! How did you even have chocolate on there? Have you got, can I have some water? No. Why? Because that top appears so see through. Well, I need to get the stain out. <laughs> I don't care if you can see my fucking... Yeah, before I got it stained, it was a lovely top. It's from Bershka originally, but I got it from TK Maxx. Um, so you probably can't get it anymore, but just as a bit of inspel. And then, my shorts. My shorts are from Tesco, actually. And then this little lemon handkerchief bandana thingy is from Sheen. Bracelet is Sarmar. Ring is, I don't know, I got it for Christmas. Uh, not sure where those rings are from. And my sandals. My sandals are from Sheen and they were like 14 pound and they're really comfortable. Um, I didn't get a blister on my toe from these sandals, it was from some different slides. Yeah, it's my little outfit of the day. And these earrings are from TK Maxx. We're finally on the train. It's so much colder on there. It is, the air is um, so, nice. so we've got the ferry back to Verona. And we met some friends. We met a guy and a girl. Well, a woman and a man. Um, yeah, we met them in the queue on the way to the ferry and yeah, we were just chatting to them on the boat and then yeah, we hugged them goodbye and they were really nice. They were really nice. They were lush. Yeah, we're just going back to the hotel now. Um, I'm sorry, yeah, we're just going back to the hotel now. Um, I think we've got an hour train but we're literally just watching 
We've decided to have another night in. <laughs> so we're just grabbing a five guys because it's literally across the road from our hotel. But yeah, we were thinking basically we were gonna go out and have a couple drinks and have a meal, but we're going on a day trip again tomorrow, so we've got to be up early. So we were thinking because we're in Rain for three days after Wednesday. Yeah, on Thursday we go to Rain for four. Monday. No, it's Tuesday. Tuesday. Yeah. So Thursday yeah. we go to Rome, um, and we're in, we're in Rome for five days, but we're only exploring Rome for three days. Well, we're going to see anyway. So we were thinking, because we ain't got to get up as early for those days, we can like drink on those nights instead. Yeah, and also the bloke that we were chatting to on the boat and stuff like that earlier on. Um, said the food in Rome. Yeah, he said the food in Rome was just so much better and so much cheaper and stuff like that. And like here, like the meals that we've had so far haven't been terrible. Yeah, we had they haven't one been meal. the best, eh? We had one meal in this restaurant, and I had carbonara, and it was like, do you know when Americans have like the squirty cheese and it's really orange? It was like that kind of cheese on it, and it tasted like they'd just warmed it, it up. It wasn't. It wasn't it, it, at all a carbonara. No, it's terrible. You know, it, it wasn't even close to a carbonara. So we're getting a five guys now. We're gonna go back, finish the film we were watching on the train, have a shower, and wake up fresh tomorrow and leave earlier tomorrow because we just left so late yesterday. Uh, today. Yeah, we really did. And we're gonna research Switzerland when we get back as well. Yeah, because we kind of wasted it. But to be fair, we were speaking to the couple who we met, our new besties. Yeah, and, and uh, um your clammy arms off a bit man. Yeah, we were speaking to them and they said they didn't actually feel like there was that much to do in Bellagio as well. They yeah. said it was just like loads of expensive shops and restaurants. So. It's, it's bougie but not like, mm. not like a shop that you really want to go in. Mm. You know, it's just like one that you'll walk past and go, oh wow, and then carry on walking. Hopefully the lighting's okay. I've tried to put my little mini light on top because it's just very like mood lighting in here and I jumped in the shower I washed my hair and blow dried it but I just wanted to talk to you about my camera that I'm using Joe's just took a dump okay guys that's where the flush is going that you boo so you said dump uh -huh. you said a dump didn't you a big old shit <laughs> yeah my camera that I'm using so basically obviously I've had this camera for a few years now and I never really played about with the settings before, like I just thought, I don't know, I just didn't know you can change settings and stuff, I don't know, it was very stupid, but never really played about with settings, but the Canon G7X has gone viral lately, and I've seen so many videos of girls, like, saying what the settings are to get certain photos and get certain, like, backgrounds and stuff like that. I watched one video and her photos looked amazing so I played about with the settings of my camera to match hers to see if I could get the same outcome with my photos and she included this, I'll include it in the screen now so you can have a read or screenshot but basically it tells you like what you need to change in your settings to get certain effects. Um, so like you change the ISO, you change the shutter speed, you change the white balance I think or something like that but it's helped so good I'll quickly insert some I'll quickly insert some like examples of photos I've taken because I'm absolutely loving what my camera's making my photos look like at the moment I just wanted to let you know that I know the Canon G7X is expensive and I think they've done a dupe now I think Canon G, uh, I think Canon has done like a cheaper version of the G7X and apparently everyone's been loving it so you can maybe go for the cheaper version but I've got to say the Canon G7X is flipping worth it like that's what I film my vlogs on like the quality is amazing it's really easy to use I've just washed my cleanser off and I'm using my little towels that I use so I use these ones is it gonna there we go I use these ones so it's basically just disposable towels again from amazon i think those are 15 pounds you get 100 but you get two packs so you get 200 of them which is really cheap because some of them can be expensive but i feel so much cleaner when i use these because 
I never really thought about it before. Um, but like your towels obviously get washed with all your other clothes and the detergent and it's obviously not good for your skin. So yeah, I have noticed a difference in the texture of my skin. I have still got loads of breakouts but I feel like it's hormonal because it's all around my chin and they're all like under the skin spot. Right, that was my skincare done for the evening. I think we're just going to watch film and go to bed now pretty much. But yeah, I think I might end the vlog here because we're going to Switzerland tomorrow. And I didn't want this vlog to be too long. And yeah, I just feel like we're not probably going to do much tomorrow. We're just going to, it's just going to be like nice views. So it might be a bit boring to watch maybe, just like a montage. I've done like 50,000 of those in this video. But yeah, thank you so much for watching. I'm not sure when these videos are going to be uploaded. I'll try to get them edited and uploaded as fast as I can. Um, we are getting a long train on Thursday to Rome. So I hope that I can do a bit, bit of editing then. And get this video up as soon as I can. But say bye. Bye. Bye.